Typically, most people would just see a spider web and say, ooh, gross, and walk away. When I see a web, I notice the variety of different shapes of webs spun by all the different species of spiders. I'm Todd Blackledge. I'm an associate professor of biology at the University of Akron, and I do research on spider silk and spider webs. I do sometimes get called Spider-Man. It's one of the hazards of the profession. Spiders are amazingly fascinating organisms to study. Uh, in the United States, I think we're kind of taught as children that we're supposed to be afraid of them, but they're just an incredibly diverse group of animals that play incredibly important roles in our ecosystems as predators of insects. So here's a nice little web in this shrubbery. Out in the field, I can actually collect silk threads directly from spider webs. But in the laboratory, I like to collect the silk straight from the source, from the spider's own spinneret. This is a multi-step process. First, we catch a spider and put it to sleep with a little carbon dioxide gas so that we can gently strap it onto a Petri dish using scotch tape. This holds the spider immobile so we can move it to a microscope and then visualize the silk thread coming out of the spigot and pull that silk thread out. There are spiders that spin up to eight different kinds of silks, and some of those silks are stronger than steel, ounce for ounce, while others are as stretchy as a rubber band. Some of them are even adhesive, like glues. So this means that they have a toolkit of different types of biological materials that could be used in many different ways for human technology. My job is great. I get to be outdoors in places like this, and I also get to be in the laboratory making new discoveries all the time. It brings something new every day.